Is this thing on? Hello everybody and welcome back to another Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. We are at the bottom of our base, at the moment, close to the bottom of our base, and uh, I have done a bit of mining here. I have cleared out a fair-sized area, and we've uncovered some handy lava here, and uh, also a slime chunk, it would appear. haven't checked with the slime to see which one it is, but I think it's this one. Um, so that's always handy, I suppose. Not that we're lacking in slime just now, but uh, yeah, you can never have too much of a good thing in Minecraft. I have literally just set up a new nether portal over here, popped it down there just now, and I have yet to go in it because there's some things that I want to do before we get to that. Ooh, one of the things I was meaning to do was I'd promised to let you see the... Uh, the wiring of my door system. So why don't we just take a little trip over here quickly to have a look. So over here we have above these two blocks we have one set of our pressure plates, our dark pressure plates, and the same here. So as you can see uh, the signal for those being picked up here and sent down and the same here being sent down and then on either side it is sent through this cobblestone block to the redstone torch which works as an inver inverter and then on top of these on the other side you'll see that the wiring well, you won't see that the wiring goes up but there is wire on top of that that goes up as well so that's how that works very simple setup largely vanilla mechanics just with the alloy wire instead so it can stick to the sides and the bottom of blocks and um, so yeah and that goes up the side here, and as you can see, all works perfectly. Um, other things that have happened in between. Uh, oh yes, I had this set up. I made the turning table and the kinetic generator. I did have an electric kinetic generator, but I couldn't get the thing to work. Um, I had it connected up with the MV wire connectors and um, it just wouldn't accept any power and I wasn't about to start messing around making new power generation for EU and attaching it to that and all the rest of it when it was very simple to make the manual kinetic generator because the only thing that we're needing this for at the moment was for making some handles for lasers. Why do we need handles for laser as well? I was making lots of stuff. Let's see. We've got a fair bit that I was wanting to do today. I managed to farm up sufficient of the cinder pearls from over there and make the blaze powder from that and feed it through our compressor. So we had some blaze rods. Um, and we've got plastic sheets that we made before using our vat setup. We've still got some rocket fuel there. So. We can make some more of that in the future. So one lava fabricator. This thing uses a huge amount of power, but it is pretty handy to have. If we get ourselves some copper... I can never remember which way round it is with this stuff. If it's um, one copper and four glass, or four copper and one glass. Um, we do have over here some of our stuff set up in this thing and I've even set it up with um, some speed upgrades and a stack upgrade so if we put stuff in here let us these slime balls are a great example let's put the slime balls in there Boop away and there they go to here so yeah excellent we have got that set up but it's obviously not a particularly brilliant way of accessing this because i've got to try and remember where these things all are but we'll get to that in a minute so the lava fabricator yes we'll come to that again in a second as well let's go i want a tank for this lava and i'm pretty sure it's that yes it is Excellent. Let's put our extra copper back in there. We've got a lava fabricator, and I think in here, yep, we'll have that stuff. Now, I want the lava fabricator to somewhere relatively sensible. I could have just used that, I suppose, for this. Um, is that going to reach to over there, or do I want this just somewhere? here kind of maybe here kind of would be good 
No, I, I do... Kind, do I kind of want it there? I kind of do want it there. And then we would need to string the power down to it. Hmm. Aesthetics. Probably not my strongest suit. Let's do that. Let's get that and go like that. And we'll go like that. Eh, it's not the worst wiring job in the world. Uh, but we will need another wire and another uh, thingy bob connector. Um, let's get this. Because I don't want to obstruct the top of this. Because that's obviously where I want that to go. There we go. So that's slowly but surely going to make that. It's going to draw an awful lot of power. But once that fills up, then it's not going to be drawing any more power. So, yeah, I can cope with that. This setup is making around about... A, well, it's not making around about... It's making 100 RF per tick because there are 100 solar panels there. There are 10 in that direction and 10 in that direction. So, yeah, it's going to empty that out rather quickly, but once it's done, yeah, there we go. It's yeah, that's going to be not too bad. It's uh, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. I could do something else, but I'm not about to. Right. Anyway, moving on. Other things. Yes, our armor situation is not brilliant. No, it is. Because that's what we needed was another thing to destroy our power. But that's good. I didn't make the boots of these because we have the long fall boots, which don't take any durability damage from anything. And they give us the equivalent of diamond armor protection anyway. It's going to be a little while before we get to the point of having flux infused jet plate, which is the leadstone, well, the jet pack, um, and the armor combined. But we can swap in between the two handily just now. And I will need to charge this up at some point. But whilst we're, in fact, let's just bung it in there right now. It's not going to charge up anytime soon because. Well, first of all, I need to check and make sure that it's not nighttime out there because nothing's going to be charging if it's nighttime. Oh, and it's not nighttime, that's fine. It's apparently arrow and bone o'clock, though. Uh, let's get rid of that. What else? Um, we've got this made, a slice and splice. So um, we had enough of the machine chassis over here. Here we made the basic machine chassis and then upgrade them with all the stuff that we've done before to get the Indrio machine chassis. So one slice and splice. I had one of those Enderman heads there. So we've got this machine chassis as well for our soul binder, which gives us the ability now that I'm wanting to make one of these inventory panels. Now, the remote awareness thing we can do... Oh, again, that was a, one of the other things that I had made was the thermal centrifuge. And I wanted the thermal centrifuge because this conduit binder needs the stone dust. And stone dust can only be got from either the ore washing plant or the thermal centrifuge. And the thermal centrifuge, if you go through it, you can get it from all these crushed ores and blah, 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 or you can just bung some cobblestone in and it out pops some stone dust. So that was relatively easy to do once we got the thermal centrifuge up and running. But to get the thermal centrifuge, we needed a laser, and to get a laser, we needed the turning table. That's why we had to go through that debacle and well not debacle but it's just quite a lot of crafting and I figured that you guys probably wouldn't want to see that you've seen me crafting a bunch of stuff so um, yeah it's just patterns and stuff to get to that point but this is the thing that we were edging towards so dark steel we have made that's fine it's easy enough to make the remote awareness now that we've got this binder composite stuff we can make electrical steels fine 
eyes of Ender we can do. We're low on Ender Pearls, but I'm about to address that issue. Um, the fluid tank we've done before, that's just normal vanilla crafting pretty much. Um, pulsating crystals, pulsating iron, again easy enough to make so long as you've got ender pearls, signalum we've got, diamantine electron tubes we can do. Um, the sentient ender is what we needed our soul binder for and then the resonant ender resonator we needed a slice and splice floor and we're going to need enderman heads. Um, again nothing there that's really going to be particularly bad. We need fused quartz, we're going to need quartz a lot more of stuff like that. So one of the things that we are in the process of kind of really needing to do, we need a mob farm. Long and the short of it, we need a mob farm. Now I have got a couple of things over here that are going to help with that. That and that and I will require, actually we've got lots of lapis over here that I've been using. Let's take one of that. So why on earth am I making what I'm making at the moment? Why would I need purple dye and magenta dye and four stone like, oh, and an ender pearl to make carved eminence stones because I want to make a portal to the last millennium. This is really, really easy to make. Really easy. Um, I do need to make myself a clock. Well, that's easy as well. So next we just need some burnt quartz, which is just smelted blocks of quartz. Now, we don't have much in the way of quartz. I think I've got um, some of that stuff, lavender quartz. Yeah, we've got 10 nether quartz, which is not enough. That'll make us two, yeah, two blocks. And we can't use that stuff. So we need to pop into the nether, hence the nether portal at the start of the episode. I'm going to put our soul binders away in here just for the moment. And I'm wanting, obviously, to get our armor situation sorted out. Well, that's doing not too bad. We're already halfway up on uh, our trousers. And it's still daylight. I really should have some sort of daylight sensor. I might do that. I might set up a daylight sensor and some sort of light thing. That would be quite cool, wouldn't it? I need quartz for daylight sensor, though. So guess what I'm going to be doing. I also need some sort of food stuff because that's my last carrot juice and after that gosh that's loud after that uh, we're down to eating cake and whilst that may have been good enough for uh, the suggestions of what paupers should eat during Victorian eras I think was it Victorian? I don't know my Irish history I'm afraid um yeah. Whilst that's a great, it's not very portable. You got to put that cake down. So I need to have something to eat. Um, we do have those soy things. So why don't I set that up whilst my armor uh, charges up, and then we'll be back when that's ready, and we'll pop off into the Nether and see what our generation of Nether's like here. We'll get our quartz, and then we'll get our portal to the last millennium. Sound like a plan? It's a plan. Okay, see you next time. Right, folks, we have done a little bit over here, and we've got ourselves some kiwi juice just now. Um, I'm going to do some other things, but I need to get some onions, and I don't have uh, the Brussels sprout seed that I need, so I need to do some breeding up, but I'm not about to do that at the moment. But we have a reasonable amount of this kiwi juice coming in, which will keep us sustained nicely. And we have got our armor charged up, um, and we're ready to go, I think. So we just need to go into the nether and get ourselves some quartz, really. So let's come down here. We'll keep our jetpack on at the moment whilst we pop over there. I'll get me... Uh, 
Where's my hang glider? There's my hang glider as well. We'll get that one out just now. Um, and we'll keep that handy there as well. So let's go through and see what the nether has to offer us in this location, hopefully. Um, well, we're nicely enclosed. And straight away we've got some lapis, gold, coal, and draconium. That's a great start. I will take that quite happily. Is that lead as well? Tin. Okie doke. So, let us just... Shall we fortify this a little bit? Yeah, I think we'll... Well, actually, no, we're okay. Let's pop down a waypoint, though, and say portal. Okay, so that's fine. Now then, let's have a look. Nether quartz, amber, there's some piggy wigs there. Now, are they going to get annoyed? I think I'm okay taking quartz. Yeah, they're watching me, but let's I'm being very careful here because although my hammer has got fortune on it, I don't know if I showed you that actually. I put fortune onto it, I put one bit of lapis onto it and mining out that area that I showed you at the very start, there was about four chunks worth, um, I have gone up to 113 lapis on it, so it has got fortune, but I don't want to accidentally mine out an ore vein and then anger the locals, because... Ah! Oh. Okay, they... Hmm... They clearly didn't like that. That's going to be inconvenient. Okay, now I do need to get some stuff to be able to get back down there. Um, hmm. A steel broadsword? Yep. I'll take that. And we will go back to... Uh, I will need to get over there really before we do anything, which means... Uh, how am I going to get down there? Um, yeah, let's do it this way. This is hugely inefficient, but... And it's... I've not been particularly satisfied by using this method of doing it, but hey-ho. Right, are we going to get killed immediately by zombie pigmen as soon as we go through here? <sighs> Let me get my stuff back. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've just managed to nab my stuff. Um, the other zombie pigman that was here actually followed me through the portal, so I've got that fun to deal with when I get back home, unfortunately. Ah, it's the nether salt ore that angered them. There's another dude through here. Oh. Where are my arrows? There they are. Right. Okay. We are... Kind of safe. Just now. Let's heal up a little bit. Right. Let's get rid of this. Let's... Well, we've already angered the locals, so let's break out the big guns. And let's get a little bit of extra stuff whilst we're here, eh? Right, and we don't really need a huge amount whilst we're here. Let's get this, and I think uh, we'll definitely pick up this. Um, 
Six nether quartz, that will do for the time being. Let's get rid of some of these death markers as well. Um, so, yeah, not the worst place in the world to spawn, but a little bit unlucky with those pigmen and that salt ore. That I was trying to be careful, but hey ho, never mind. Oh. forgotten about that zombie pigman that had come through. He must have been stuck through in the portal and just gone back through. So now, let's find them. He can stay there. Again, we're probably going to have to deal with him when we go back through. Ah, never mind. In any case, let's go that two, three, and four, and smelt that up, get this, let's see what's in our treasure bag, anything good? Mm, we got an enderpearl out of it, that's okay, that's ostensibly what we're wanting, anyway, let's uh, pump off some of this stuff, we can go, yep, that goes into there, that goes into there, still a little bit disappointed with our death, but never mind, and that can go in there, we done, nearly, let's do that, let's also get a stick, there should be more than that. We need uh, an abundance of these. And we'll get some uh, of that. And let's make some more torches because where we're going, it's going to be dark. Spider on the roof. Right. We've got our burnt quartz. We've got that. Let's get our portal to the last millennium. And let's go... Shall we just pop down there? And go and put it here. And put it... I guess there's as good a place as any. Yeah? Shall we? I'll lose all my stuff if this goes horribly wrong. Here. Hmm. Hmm. Hello, last villager. You have no trades. And let's light this place up. Um. And. Actually, let's try and make it look a bit pretty, shall we? Give it a go. Give it a go. Um, so, why did we want to come over here? Well, I want to make a mob trap. A normal, kind of... It's not going to be vanilla, but a van sort of vanilla style mob trap. So, we want to go, let's be decent to the other guys. I'm not altogether sure what happens on a multiplayer server if everybody else is going to come through here. Um, and I want to, yeah, we've got the jetpack on. Just make doubly sure of that. We want to come out. Three, four, five, six. Let's just go 
all the way out here as far as this lot will take us. And then I think it's time to go and build this mob trap. Now, spawning mechanics for this will be using normal vanilla spawning mechanics, i.e. they will, we need to be at least 24 blocks away before things will start spawning. Um, and then, and beyond 128 blocks, things will stop spawning. Yeah? Sound good? So far... Gee, oh, that swapped over there and... There we go, we've already got our spawn. So... I'm not going to even entertain him. Um, we'll pop that there and that there. So we don't want things spawning here, but spawning clearly working, which is kind of what I wanted to check just quickly. Now we'll set up our road out kind of like this. I'll get it looking a bit better. Um, I'll try and match it up with what we've got there in a second. But that's what I want. So I will start out there with a normal vanilla mob trap. Far enough away from here that it's not going to cause any issues. But the guys, if they do spawn here, I don't know if they get their own platform or if it makes their own dimension or what happens. If they make a last millennium portal, um, if they appear here, they can use this. That'll be fine. If they appear to another different bit, then that's also fine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realise it would take us back here. Okie doke. Let me go and make that mob trap and then I'll be back in a bit. Okay, well, do you want to see it? Do you want to see it? Here it is. So we've got that smallish spawning platform. Oh, I've got to watch because uh, I'm being pushed about by fans. Um, this cactus in the middle is there to take care of spiders. So... The spawning area in here can spawn any kind of mob um, that would normally spawn here. Endermen, creepers, witches, skeletons, zombies, spiders. Now spiders won't fit down our uh, one block wide hole so we need to take care of them. Now the fans will blow everything in towards the middle and the spiders will go and uh, be pushed up against the cactus and eventually die. It does take a little while, but it will work. So that will take care of them. Then below that, we've got to fight against this, below that there are a few um, conveyor belts that I have put together. Um, cobblestone covers over the top of here to stop anything from spawning here, and we are lit up outside. So if I hit F7, you will see everything there nicely can spawn. And that should take care of that. Obviously, it's always night in this millennium. So, there we go. We have some creatures in there already. And they take a reasonable amount of fall damage, but not too much. So, we can take care of them by hand. That is us with a nice mob farm. Haven't had any Endermen as yet. I'm really hoping Endermen do spawn in this dimension because I was kind of really just doing this simply so I could get Ender Pearls. Not really that fussed about rotten flesh and uh, gunpowder at this stage of the game. So I'm going to go and away from keyboard for a little while here. Um, and hopefully we will get some uh, Endermen um, spawning in. And uh, yeah, we'll get some ender pearls, and we can move on to the next thing very soon. But yeah, this is working um, just exactly as I'd wanted so far. Um, and I shall see you the next time. Bye-bye.